So you know, it's good to see you this morning, but you know there's something called the Indianola Tour of Homes, and this last year they included churches in that. Um, well, here's the Indianola Tour of First United Methodist Church. Um, last week we were in the sanctuary, um, and this week we are uh, from Parish Hall. Some, uh, someone told me that I need to keep doing this from different places, so, so that's where I'm coming from this morning. Um, and I can be heard fine, that's always good. Um, or hopefully that's a good thing that you could hear me. But uh, I'll, I'll keep doing this every week as, as long as we're in this. Um, luckily this church is so large um, that I'm not going to run out of rooms. And don't worry Pat, I won't back up. I do have, um, you know, I, I've spent a lot of time on stage so I kind of uh, have my bearings in that way. But I will be careful and I thank you for worrying about me. I'm going to keep this relatively brief today. We've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, in the office today, or at least remotely, um, that I need to attend to. So I just wanted to quickly check in and see how you are doing. You know, I don't even know what week we're in. I think we're, I think we can quantify it by months now. So we are in uh, month two, going on month three of this. So I hope you're taking care of yourself, and I hope you're doing what you need to do to stay fit um, in mind, body, and spirit. Um, we are reading from Psalm 100 today. And I'll tell you what, it, there's a psalm for everything in life. Um, and I think in these times of confusion and wondering and, 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 and gratitude, um, we can find a psalm for everything. And, and, and I often read the lectionary, the daily lectionary. And today was Psalm 100. It's a relatively short psalm. But I offer it to you as a reminder of, of whose we are and from where we came from. And there's a little tease to Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good and his steadfast love endures forever. And his faithfulness to all generations. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, my brief uh, reflection on this today actually has to do with the way that this has been translated. And I could go into um, all of the different ways that um, people have interpreted this, but if you look back at the way that the Hebrew um, flows, it's actually a better translation. Rather than saying, it is God that made us and we are his, it's actually more accurate to what the psalmist said to say, and it is God that made us and not we ourselves. And I always find that to be a fascinating um, interchange of the translations knowing that the second is more accurate with the Hebrew that we didn't make ourselves and I think sometimes um, you know particularly as Americans we have this um, rugged individualist spirit um, that has helped us to get all sorts of things done helped to make people um, stronger certainly in some ways but I think it also convinces us sometimes that we have to do everything on our own as and that especially in times like now where um where we're wondering and we're confused and we have a lot to to to, to do we buckle down we pull ourselves up by our bootstraps and we go it ourselves and don't worry about it leaning on other people because they can't be relied on i think that's sort of the the um the myth that we tell ourselves. And, and while I think it's important to know what you can do, take ownership of your personal, personal responsibility in times like these, I wonder if we're missing whose we are and that we are made by God, that we did not make ourselves. We are not self-made people. I think that can be... A, a tricky thing to unlearn for us, especially as Americans, but, but all, all kinds of people. But we are made by God. We did not make ourselves. I love the way the psalmist says that. 
And so when we give th- praise and thanksgiving to God, we are giving it to our creator, the one who made us and the one who continues to make us new. And I hope in this time that we know that we don't have to go it alone, that we don't have to rely on our own devices and our own ability to make our lives Because indeed, the one that created us is the only one that can save us. And sometimes that saving is even from ourselves. And so I'll offer that to you as a word of encouragement in this time, knowing that you don't have to go it alone. Rely on your creator and rely on one another, the body of Christ in this time. Certainly, it's it's a good time to, to... To know your limits and to know what you can do and to know what you can do for yourself. But this is the time where we are called to rely on one another. And so I hope that that you can do that in this time. And I hope as sort of a segue that you know that we are here for you. If you are feeling at this point like there's not much more that you can do or that you can give, reach out. Either drop a comment below so we can all know or send us a private message. Let us know. Give us a call. Let us know that you need help because needing help is okay. And we are called as people made by God to help others. So in this time, I hope you'll do that. I see we've got a number of of people checking in. Hello, Darla. Hello, Leah. Hello, Pat. And there was one other. Oh, hello, Linda. And I see a number of other people who haven't commented, but I see I see you there. Hey, Joyce and Dixie, I believe. It's good to see you. Drop a comment below and let us know that you are here. If there's anything we can pray for, um, I'm fully aware that we are, like I said, going on months on this. So um, let us know how we can be in service to you as created people. Um, know that you are loved. You are blessed by God. And... Uh, We love you. Take care.